it's digging pirates swing for the ring here and guess what we are at my favorite site today and i'm stoked i cannot wait i'm talking hundreds of rings silver coins wheaties i mean you name it i've pulled it out of this little swim hole i can't wait to see what i've missed and maybe there's something new for me but it's hot out let's get in the water p.s this little pond it stinks so the wife Hun, hun, I apologize to you because I'm going to come home and it's not going to be good. So get the hose ready. But for you guys, let's see what we can find. All right, there she is in all her glory. I know it doesn't look like much and it's mucky. And if you guys could smell it right now, you would all run away. I mean, there's like a turkey processing plant. There's a junkyard over there. I mean, it's just, it's filthy. I did see a giant carp. He must have weighed like 30 pounds already on the other side of the shore over there. Uh, but there's treasure in here, so let's get at it. All right, first treasure of the day before the muck goes over it. Oh no, the muck. You see these at these little parks all the time. Oh, oh, and I, I missed it. Anyway, uh, long story short, guys, it's a golf ball. Yeah, that's all. Don't get too excited. I just eyeballed it. And I probably lost it. Hey, is it a good one? Is it worth keeping? Hey, Nike. All right. Let's see, Tradition Golf Club. Pauly's Island? I have no idea where that is. PD Soft, all right, we'll keep it. It is so mucky in here, I don't know if it's duck poop or actual muck. But you sink like probably a foot down every step. So swinging is difficult, I mean, guys, Check this out, look at the plume of sediment just blowing up as I sweep the coil. Here's the coil, and it just explodes into muck. And there's no current in this water. There's no waves, like it's not moving. So, <laughs> once you stir it up, whoo, soupy. Look at, we found us a nice beaded necklace of lead all right i will wear this proudly or give it to the wife she might like it <laughs> oh man pirates Woo! look at that we are killing the fishing necklaces today <laughs> this one's got a nice band to it oh yeah the wife is gonna love me tonight i'd say this is probably more of a bracelet wouldn't you guys maybe pandora sweet so pirates, I have some unfortunate news. I would love to give you guys some underwater footage, but my GoPro with the waterproof casing was stolen while I was on a tubing trip. I was doing some diving down the river and it was in the cooler and well, the cooler ended up in the parking lot and well, <laughs> along with my license, a credit card and the GoPro that was in that cooler, uh, it's gone. Yeah, somebody took it. So unfortunately, guys, right now I am down an extra camera for my GoPro and I don't have a waterproof housing. So if anyone's got a good deal out there, can hook me up, I'd love you guys. From one pirate to another, let me know. But for now, we're just going to have to be surface dwellers. So enjoy the scenery. All right, pirates, it looks like uh, we got our first coin. All right, I'm thinking, thinking it's a dime. Yeah, a lot of these coins in here come out, we call them cookie coins, and they're just, they just look like a big thick cookie. Got all this crud on it. What do we got for a year? Oh, we are one off from silver. 1965 Rosie.
Oh, look at this. Is this is this metal? What is this? All I know is I don't know if this is actually a necklace or not, but look at right here, guys. Check it out, pirates. Guess what? We are swinging for rings. And this guy, I'm wondering if this was like a necklace. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna. It's so cookied. I think it was. I think what happened was they had this tied to this ring here. And dollars to donuts, this is gonna be a silver ring here. It looks like a little spoon ring. Ho ho ho! We are swinging for rings, folks. All right, we're going to take this little, I don't know what it is. Maybe I don't want to know what it is, but we got us a ring. So that's awesome. Oh, it is. It's a chain. And I drop, I just dropped part of it. Uh, it was a small part. <laughs> All right. This is a little itty bitty chain. And it is so delicate right now. I won't even, if I bust the crud off of it, I'm going to break everything on it. But I bet they had this little sterling chain wrapped around this ring so they wouldn't lose it Woo! all right so in a few of my earlier videos this year i alluded to the fact that i am now scuba certified and i have yet to do a scuba video one because i don't have the underwater camera gear anymore but that's okay and two i just i haven't got a tank yet so i need to invest in a tank but Leave a thumbs up if you guys want me to have my first scuba dive for treasure here at my little honey hole. Uh, again, visibility is terrible here, so I'm a little weary of that, just having that be my first uh, treasure video. The good news is it's not terribly deep right now. The water's down. This is an old gravel pit, but this is the shallower section. But I am standing pretty much on the edge of the drop-off. And I've got to imagine that this was where all of the diving was going. And right on the slope, there's going to be a ton of items. So if you guys want, if you want me to go do a scuba video, look for treasure, and you want it to be here, hit that like button. If we can get over 100 likes uh, before, let's put a date on it so it doesn't get too cold. How about before August... 10th random date now let's make it august 11th 100 likes before august 11th and we will go ahead and hit this little honey hole with some scuba gear and see what we can pull out of it all right guys <laughs> we got us a ring another cookie coin -wee. this one was loud this might be silver she was it was screaming I also got to check. I thought I heard a mid-tone maybe. Always check. I have pulled two rings in the same scoop here, so... Not to brag! <laughs> oh, this looks promising. This looks promising. See how this is still gray? That's promising. I see a rosy head. But man, is it caked on there. Ah, it's cookies, I tell ya. Alright, here we go. Now we're talking. Oh yeah, we got some rosy. Ah, look at that, just leaves your fingers stained. Delicious. Anyway, still haven't got a date off it, but... I know we got silver here, so... That's all that matters, right? Nope, nope. All that matters is gold. Alright, I think we hit the date marker here. 1957. You're just going to have to take my word for it, folks. Just take it. Rosie in the scoop. Alright. That's three silvers. I'm counting that necklace as silver, by the way. Like it or not. Alright. Could it be? Another... Ring in the scoop. Woohoo! This one sounded more copper though. I don't think it's silver. It could be nickel. Actually, it did have a pretty low tone. But oh, man, 
finding a lot of these style rings out here today. And I think the reason, because I'll be honest, I didn't think I was going to find anything. I thought I had this place locked in, cleaned out. I even brought friends out here, which you never do. You never bring your friends to your favorite spot, right? Well, I'm a good, I'm a good friend, right? Good soul. But we hit it hard after I found the majority of things, of course. But man, I thought we had found everything. Either the winter kicked some stuff up, or we haven't had rain here in probably three weeks. So the water is way down. We're supposed to get a bunch this weekend, so that's why I wanted to get out here while the water level was still really low. So I might be a little further out than I normally have been. So we're starting to approach that drop off that I was talking about. We had a really high tone and we have a coin. Just a penny of the wheat variety. Very nice. 1954D solid. Uh, if anyone watching was born in 1954 and you have a letter D in your YouTube name, I will mail you this coin. All right. Eat your Wheaties. Eat your Wheaties. I don't know if the necklace is. Uh, nope. No necklace. But we got a nice little copper cross, it looks like. You have a pretty good signal. I apologize if you guys can't see any of this video footage. Um, again, the camera's on top of my head for today. So my angle could be off. For all I know, you could be looking at my ball cap the entire time. So if you are, I hope you enjoy my hat. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy what I'm finding. I feel like we're getting closer. There's got to be a big fat gold ring right over there. Let's go look. 1957. There's definitely still stuff out here, but... Oh, man. The wife is going to be wanting dinner. What should we bring her? Let me know. This may be the smallest medallion I've ever found with the Excalibur. There's still another little target down there, but <laughs> holy smokes. That is unbelievable. Wow. I don't even know how you'd wear this. I can understand how you'd lose it, though. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, let's see what else is down there. Cookies! That's a thick cookie. Holy mackerel. Look at that thing. Now, you'd think that this is a nickel as thick as it is. Nope, it's a penny. Look at that. That is insane. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What? Oh, my... Wow! And it's paper thin, man. Look at it. And it's not even a wheat. I don't think this water is healthy to be in. <laughs> it's just eating these coins up. Alright, pirates. There you have it. We gave it our best shot from everything from golf balls to rings and a bunch of other stuff. Some old coins. We got silver. We got quite a bit of silver. I was actually happy with what we were able to dig, considering I've just pounded this place over the last few years. And, and really, within about two or three weeks is when I found the majority of it. But I still come back because you always find stuff. Always. So if you have a nice little honey hole, you haven't visited it in a while, you better go check it out. Because I promise, if you find something good, the girls will love you. And just remember, Keep swinging for the ring.